Alrighty, so let's start off with IBS, this unpleasant constellation of symptoms that can include distension, discomfort, constipation, and diarrhea. This might be the most comprehensive meta-analysis published to date, summarizing 52 randomized control trials in over 6,000 patients. And they found that probiotics improved overall IBS symptoms and also abdominal pain. They found that lactobacillus species offered benefit, as did bifidobacterium species, as did saccharomyces species, either as single species formulas or in probiotic blends, and that a dose of over 1 billion was best, and a time period of over one month was best. And just quoting the researchers, in conclusion, our study has proved the efficacy of probiotics in treating IBS with a significant improvement in IBS symptoms and subjective feelings. So pretty phenomenal. Shouldn't be surprising as we've covered so many studies demonstrating that probiotics can improve gut health and the symptoms of IBS. Now, one thing I'd like for you to consider, if we know that multiple imbalances underlie IBS, SIBO, dysbiosis, candida, CFO, leaky gut, the brain-gut connection, hypersensitivity, autoimmunity. If all of these things underlie IBS, it's probably safe to assume that in this meta-analysis that looked at over 6,000 people, you're going to see some people with SIBO, some people with dysbiosis, some people with autoimmunity, et cetera. And if the therapy probiotics improves symptoms across those different people in that population, I think it's safe for us to assume that the probiotics underneath the surface are likely correcting SIBO, dysbiosis, leaky gut, hypersensitivity, dysmotility, and hence why we see the end result of those imbalances, the symptoms improve. And I wanna tie that to the concept of the testing and quantifying of all these different imbalances because when you're having distension or when you're having loose bowels or constipation, it can be disconcerting and leads you to want to know the what. But as you're looking at about five tests to do this and well over $1,000. But as I've been trying to continually share with you, we can supplant that step because we know how to fix those imbalances and thus it can make the testing of those a little bit moot as we're seeing demonstrated in this pretty comprehensive meta-analysis. 